This begins lectures on section 2.4. In 2.4, we're going to be change, uh, going over changing quantity and subtracting real numbers. Our objectives are going to be to define a, a change in quantity, subtract, subtract real numbers, and find signs for change in quantity of real world problems. I'm going to start out with the second objective and then go into the applications of that second objective. So first of all, we're going to um, reiterate our um, previous learned concepts of additive inverse and off opposite. So remember that n's additive inverse, also called its opposite, is a negative n, or the opposite of n is how it's read. And negative n's additive inverse, or its opposite, is a positive n. So if I wanted to write what the opposite of 2 is, remember that I'm going to write a negative 2. And if I want to write the opposite of a negative 2, then I'm going to write a positive 2. All right, now with that, a little bit of vocabulary for subtraction. A subtraction problem actually has words for each of its parts. So the difference is the answer to a subtraction problem. The menu end is the first number you see, and then the number that follows the subtraction sign is called the subtrahend. So I can redefine subtraction now. Subtraction is defined as the addition of an opposite, meaning that the difference is the menu end plus the opposite of the subtrahend. And you can say that in a couple of different ways. You could say copy down the first number and add the opposite of the second number, or you could say copy down the first number and add the second number's additive inverse. Those are different ways of saying that. So now we're going to go ahead and we are going to do example number 15 here, where we're actually going to rewrite as addition problems. We're not going to be doing anything more than rewriting as addition problems, though, and I want to stress that because it's really important that you learn how to do that, in my opinion. So 3 subtract 9, we're going to rewrite that as copy down the first number and add and then we're going to look at the opposite of this number and the opposite of positive 9 is negative 9 and that's where we're going to end. And then the next one here, 7 subtract a negative 4, we're going to copy down the first number and we're going to add and then we're going to look at the opposite of this number. The opposite of negative 4 is positive 4 and that's where we're stopping right now. Now the next one here we see equals and we're going to copy down the first number, negative 9, add and then we're going to look at the opposite of this number and the opposite of that number is a negative 6 and so there we go with that. And then finally, my last one here, we have a copy down the first number, which is a negative 12, add, and then I'm going to go look at the second number, and I'm going to find its opposite. The opposite of a negative 6 is a positive 6, and that's changing those problems to addition problems. Now, there's another way of looking at this, and this is a kinesthetic way, and the kinesthetic way says I'm going to change the addition, this to addition, and I'm going to put a negative up here. I'm going to change this to addition, and the negative is going to come across here to make this a plus. I'm I'm going to change this to addition and I'm going to take that and put it up there. I'm going to change this to addition and I'm going to make it a plus here. And so in each case you see with the other color writing I've gotten the exact same answers that I got by changing to addition in the verbal manner. So there's the verbal like I went through with the blue and the kinesthetic as I went through with the pink. Some people are more inclined to kinesthetic over the verbal. And so I don't want to um, negate that. Now, I don't have time for any more, um, which is good, because we're just going to go ahead and do example number 16, which is actually doing the math in our next little lecture.